96 years old. New York One's Clota McGowan has his story. A relic from the past is Vincent Hall's medium to capture some of the world's most recognizable landscapes. It's finite in the sense it's not like a, just a general landscape with trees. These scenes that I do are remarkable. The beauty is to capture it with keystroke in the typewriter. Since the 1970s, Hall goes line by line, letter by letter, typing a whole piece of artwork without picking up a paintbrush. Now his work has a home in the new Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture, which opens in Washington, D.C. later this month. I feel great having it recognized. The prestige of being in the Smithsonian is, is unpurchasable. You can't buy it. Paul says the Smithsonian commissioned him to create a rendering of the new museum's building. Up to now, creating these unique works of art has been a hobby. This is the first sale for the 76-year-old artist. My representation is from an angle I thought that captured the way the three tiers representing the three centuries that African Americans have contributed to our history and culture. Out of all of his pieces, this night scene from Paris is his favorite. But the most meaningful are these before and after pictures of the city skyline. This version with the Twin Towers was created in 1981. It was heartbreaking, but as the new skyline developed, Freedom Tower and the Sun, I used the architect's plans so that it's there to uplift. Paul spends almost every day at the Pominox Senior Center. He credits the center for allowing him to get his work out to the public. I was able to perfect the adaptation or the, the use of my art. Going forward, Paul hopes to sell even more of his art and hopefully find a space for his local city landscapes in a museum closer to home. In Flushing, Chloe McGowan, New York One. That'll do it for this hour's look at what's happening here in Queens.